Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Kakudash, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Kakudash. Now with son called Alalyam, La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Kakudash. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video Do Not Add or Take Away from the Book. And it's not talking about the book of Revelation. It's talking about the whole book, the scriptures. Now, this individual right here, he had recently uh, uh, passed. He's in the spiritual realm. But I was going through some old uh, videos that we did. And um, I did a video. And I, I, don't, I didn't even remember doing this video. But I listened to some of it. And this is the video right here. This is the actual video. And I'm going to show you it on my page. As you can see, it's the same video, but I did a like a sit down on it, which was a year ago. Uh, it says the book of Enoch says there are 10 heavens because I was reading through the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch is crap. Now, the book of Enoch is mentioned in the Bible. I'm sorry. Uh, the book of Jasher is mentioned in the Bible. Um, but if you call yourself reading from the book of Jasher. That's not the original book of Yasha. There's a, there's a book called the book of the wars of the Lord. Do you, do you have that book? So here they are reading um, from the, uh, the book of Enoch, uh, which says in the book of Enoch, because I read through, I read through the book to see was, whether it was valid, valid or not. And it says there are 10 heavens. So he was clearly going off. It says, uh, okay, HODC teaching from Book of Enoch, Book of Jubilee, uh, New Moon and Passover. So they're going into the Book of Jubilee, they're going into the Book of Enoch, which those books are not valid books. This is Esau that put that together. I'm not going to go all into it. And that's you know, for, for monetary reasons. That's why you have the GOCC talking about there's uh, mermaids in the Bible. and uh, You can actually, there's an act, hell is an actual place that you can burn in forever. A reincarnation is not, uh, you know, biblical and so forth. And uh, these individuals from the HODC, they were going off uh, too. They were going into the books. And um, like I said, I came across this video. I wasn't looking to say, well, let me get on this guy. It, but I, and, I, and I didn't even remember it all that, you know, I said, when I came across it, I said, well, let me uh, listen to it. I, wrote, I read the title, of course, HODC Camp, Elder Ka-ra. Uh, Allah, how to determine the Hebrew Israelite New Year and Passover. And then as you read, as you look down here, I didn't put this here. HODC teaching from Book of Enoch, Book of Jubilee, uh, New Moon and Passover. Let me see if I can get what well, I can. Uh, let me see something. Well, maybe I put it in there. But um, let me bring it back. Maybe I put that in there. I don't really remember all that well. And um, I should label this video. Don't another uh, title for this video is uh, "Don't Drink the Milk." Why it's spoiled? <laughs> and I just put this down. This is a response to a comment on my video. But anyway, I said, "Well, let me listen to some of this video." This is the four minutes and thirty-three second in. And let's see how far we can go into this video. Like I said, I didn't have anything planned. I was sitting in front of the computer watching different videos, trying to get the spirit to hit me. But you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful. 
you know, what, is it, what does it say? Well, there's many scriptures on that subject about, uh, you know, the scriptures speak about not being over-righteous. You know, you got this book, you got that book. The main book you're supposed to be dealing with uh, is the scriptures. You don't need all these other books to obtain salvation because if that's, that was the case, the book of the book of Enoch, the book of Jubilee, this book, that book, uh, well, they would all be a part of the scriptures. Because you can get salvation without having the, the, uh, the if you don't have the apocrypha, there's enough information in the scriptures to give you salvation. But the most high happened to give us the apocrypha. I happen to have, I believe, two King James, old old King James versions. Um, and then and in those two books, I believe I got two books. I'm almost positive I do. I got a handful, I got a couple of Bibles, old Bibles, new Bible, Tanakhs, New Testament, Hebrew, and so forth. And um in that in the original King James Version. You have the book of the Apocrypha. You don't have the book of Enoch. You don't have the book of Yasha. You don't have the book book of uh, these these various, like I said, these various different books. So this man was clearly going off, and then he said that these other cans go off because you got to follow it based upon the vernal equinox. Now the vernal equinox is not found on your calendar because what did they say? The March seventeenth. Well, guess what? The vernal equinox does not fall on March uh, 17 necessarily. Maybe out of, out, out of many years, it may fall on it, but it, but it's off. The ver, vernal equinox is not, Knox is not a, uh, a a place on the calendar. It it, it you got to go into the meaning of the word. Meaning meaning of words are important. Vernal equinox, vernal meaning to spring or spring forth. And equinox means equal with the night. So how do we know when the vernal equinox come in? Not on March 17th or March 18th. It comes in on when there's exactly 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. I'm going to say that again. The vernal equinox comes in when there's 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. Not by going to a calendar and say, okay, it's March 17th or it's March 18th. I believe it's actually March 17th. It could be around March 24th. So you can't go by these calendars. So, I mean, he clearly went off and he said that we went off. He was talking about anybody that was teaching it different from him. He was saying, you got to teach it this way. So let's listen to a little bit of this. Same thing. You know, a lot of brothers they don't follow Enoch because they think, oh, the book of Enoch is off, it's not scripture. But guess what? Ezra wrote 204 books. Esau only gave you 66. So where are the rest of the books? They're not valid? Hmm? Of course they're not valid because the most I would give us would have gave, given us the books. What is this what does it say in Revelation 10? Um John, the, the, the apostle, saw the visions, and he went to write, and the angel said, Do, don't write. You can read that in Revelation 10. So there's certain things that was given. Uh, to another, well, when you go to the book of Ezra, there were many other books written, but the most, as obvious, the most I didn't want us to have them books will be able to see read those actual books in the kingdom. Because like I said, Esau puts these books out because they know that there's Jakes out there that will pay good money for these books and it will and it'll lead you in the darkness. This leads you in the destruction. There's enough information in the King James Bible with the Apocrypha to give you all the information that you need. To get right with the most high, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And you're clearly going off when you delve into these different books. 
The making of many books, there's no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Ecclesiastes in the Bible, the 12th chapter. The Apostle Peter said in, in uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, you can start at about this 15th verse. I'll read, read a couple of verses down. And he basically says that, um, you know, matter of fact, let me read it. Let me read it so I don't botch it up. Bear me for a minute. Okay, let me go to let me go to the uh, blue letter. Blue letter. Bible. Bear me for a minute. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> so let me read it. Second Peter. <laughs> Three. I'll uh, start at the 15th verse. <coughs> I'll start at the uh, 16th verse. All, as also in all his epistles, speaking, the 15th verse mentioned Paul. <coughs> as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which or some things hard to be understood. A lot of you don't even understand the Bible, the scriptures, because you be, you guys have been teaching for years. <laughs> I don't know if you still teach that, that Cornelius is an Edomite. So how are you going to graduate from the scriptures when you don't even know the scriptures? So I don't know their stance on um, whether they still teach that Cornelius is an Edomite or an Israelite. All the other camps, IUIC teaches it. We got kicked out for teaching it. Now all the camps teach it. I don't know if the HODC teaches it. And when HODC first came on YouTube in the, at the end of uh, 2008, we uh, jumped on their page concerning Cornelius and they you know, screamed back and forth that Cornelius is Edomite and they would cut us and all that. So I don't know if they still taught it. And if they're teaching it the wrong way, the most is going to deal with them because we gave it to them the right way. And common sense will tell you if ISUPK is teaching it, IUIC is teaching it, G teaching it, GMS is teaching it, Sakari is teaching it, many other camps are teaching it, then you can't see it. You would have to consider all these camps are top shelf camps. Major camps, GMS, IUIC, Sakari, ISUPK, not necessarily in that order. Those are the top, some of the top uh, camps out there. And then you have others. Well, you got Zabak, HOI, which I don't know if he still teaches uh, that Cornelius is Edomite. But when we got on him about it, he bucked up against it. He bucked up against the, the MOTB. And you, you at the HODC, you do teach that the H the uh, MOTB, hope I said the MOTB, is actually, you know, the fulfillment of the CHIP. So you got that right. So it says, as also in all his epistles, letters, speaking in them of these things in which some things are hard to be understood. What like uh, going back recently, just what, a week ago, uh, Bishop McDaniel put up a video and he went into 2nd Ezra, the 11th chapter, and I believe 2nd Ezra, the 12th chapter. I didn't see the whole video, but he did say 
And as far as second Ezra's the eleventh chapter or the twelfth, but I think it was eleventh chapter. It, um, he said that America, uh, the three heads, in in a, uh, second Ezra the eleventh chapter, uh, represent America, England, and Rome, which is clearly wrong. And I and I put a video counter video on that. So he's going. He's clearly going off. So if the Most High was really dealing with you guys, he wouldn't be giving. He wouldn't be confusing you with all this that you're teaching, and you're confusing the people because these people are blindly following you. They believe that you're the vicar of the Lord. It says, uh, as also in all his epistles speaking in, in them of things in which are some things hard to be understood, mainly the breakdowns. And not bragging or boasting, but we at GMS, we put out these breakdowns. No other camp put out these breakdowns. Now, Bishop, now the IUIC started putting it out there after we put it out there because they were charging you for these deep breakdowns, which they, they were, those breakdowns weren't even a 100% uh, correct. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest or wrestle as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Destruction means what? To their own de demise. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked. So for you to deliberately go off on the scriptures and uh, deceive people, whether you, whether you acknowledge that you're doing it or not, maybe you're doing it because you think you're righteous, but you're really, but you're really uh, wicked. I feel that it means this way. Well, if you're wrong, you got to answer to the most high. 17 verse again. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked. When you break the scriptures down, GOCC, the Most High, got a special destruction for those niggas because they're teaching that there's no, the hell is an actual place that you burn forever. Uh, reincarnation is not biblical. The Most High's name is Ahia and the Son's name is Yeshia. And what else? They go into these, uh, the, the, this book and that book, and mermaids are in the Bible, and the sons of God in Genesis chapter 6 are talking about some demons and angels on the left-hand side came down to earth and copulated with the woman. That, the Most High has got a special destruction for them, them clowns, man. But then you got a lot of people that are following these guys. You go to their page, the main page, they'll do a live stream and have like 50, 35, 40, 50,000 people following them, and most of them are women. Let me read that again. 17, ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, uh, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of your how. And how do you grow? You have to have teachers. The most I said, teachers, we're over you. The apostles of GMS are over every camp. So if you don't understand it, uh, uh, I'm talking about IUIC, Sakari, ISCBK, uh, HOI, uh, GOC, all of them camps. You got to you got to you got to consult with us because we're the number one camp. We have the highest position. A apostle is the highest position that you think can get right now. A bishop is under an apostle. A general is under apostle. An elder is under an apostle. There's a reason why the Most High made us apostles. It speaks about every wind of doctrine in uh, 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 Ezra's chapter 4, one of my favorite chapters. And it gives you a list. Apostles, prophets, uh, evangelists, teachers for the for the uh, for the uh, what, how does it go? For the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. Because once you get this knowledge, it's your job. You learn this knowledge so you can teach others. Eat this role and go out and teach the sons of Israel. 
but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Hawashiach HaMashiach. To him be glory both now and forever. So be it. The word there is amen, but I say so be it, or so be true. So you can be destroyed by, you know, deliberately or otherwise breaking down the scriptures wrong. When you say, okay, well, let's go to the book of Enoch and let's go to that book, most eyes looking at you sideways, br brah. So let's come back to this. And a lot of you guys don't fear the most high. Calling on Jesus and most high and Christ bless. Let's listen. Let's listen again. And I'm going to get ready to close it. Not going to make this long. How do you know that? Let's read the same thing in the scriptures. So we're going to go to the book of Revelation. Chapter 27. At the extremities of the earth. Reading the book of Enoch. Chapter from March to April the 19th. That's the fourth day called Aries, you know. But um, I'm not going to get too much long into this. I'm going to go to the scripture and I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to read it in e Enoch and I'm going to read one scripture in the Bible, right? So this is here is I'm going to read in the book of Enoch chapter 74, right? To explain that. Right, this is Enoch 74. And we're going to read verse 12, right? It says, 12 gates I beheld in heaven at the extremities of the earth, through which the sun, moon, and the stars, and all the works of heaven proceed at their rising and setting. So these 12 gates are represented by the 12 zodiac signs as we know them today. You know, Scorpio, um, Libra, you know, Scorpio and Libra and Sagittarius and all that, it, 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 that's not in the scriptures. Those words are not in the scriptures. So he's adding to the book. And the, our high priest, Ariel, none of the seven taught this nonsense. They never went into the book of Asher or the book of uh, uh, Enoch or this book or that book. This is blasphemy. This is madness. But then he goes on to say, you guys are teaching other, otherwise you are going off. Because what they do, they bring forth healing for the nations. How do you know that? Let's read the same thing in the scriptures. Read it here in the Bible. And then I'm going to read what Enoch says of the same thing. You know, for a lot of brothers, they don't follow Enoch because they think, oh, the book of Enoch is off. It's not scripture. But guess what? You, you damn skippy. The book of Enoch is off. Look at that. Landed on 444. That's what he said. He the brothers don't follow because they don't think the book of eat. Let me listen to it again. Let's listen to it again. The same thing. You know, for a lot of brothers, they don't follow Enoch because they think, oh, the book of Enoch is off. It's not scripture. But guess what? Ezra wrote 204 books. Esau only gave you 66. So where are the rest of the books? The most, it's obvious the most high held it back. What do you think? That Esau had the power to say, well, we, ain't, we only going to give you 66. The most high gave us are uh, those books. And the most I held back whatever he was going to hold back. Go back to Revelation 10. The angel told John not to write. He heard the, he heard the I believe it was seven thunders uttered and he went to write and, it's, and the angel said, do not write. So where's, where's, that, where's that account? Now, pre, high priest Shai, one of the seven said, oh, that's talking about the Byzantine Empire. Ain't talking about no damn Byzantine Empire. They're not valid. They're there. We just haven't gotten to them. They got them all locked up in the Vatican. Let's get to the scripture here. Where's the information on that? That's the thing. And we got these books, and the Vatican got them books. What evidence do you have that the Vatican got these books? If I put in what hidden books does the Vatican have, and they're like, that's that old, that's your Shia bullshit. Yeah, these are books, but they're locked up in the Vatican. And I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know that, man. There ain't no information on no books that are locked up in the Vatican. Now, the Vatican probably has certain things, but you don't have no evidence that 200 some odd books from Ezra's is in the, is in the, is in the Vatican. Yeah. 
Revelations chapter 22 and verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear of the street of it and on either stations, right? So let's see what Enoch has to say concerning that. So we're going to go to um, Enoch chapter 75. And we're going to start at verse 12 also. So this is Enoch chapter 75 and verse 12. It says, the account of the 12 gates of the four quarters of heaven is ended. All their laws, all their infliction of punishment, and the help produced by them have I explained to thee, my son, Methuselah. So in other words, the zodiac doesn't only bring forth healing and good health, but it can also bring forth infliction upon the nations. Right? So this, so Enoch, in the book of Enoch, look, Enoch was never no got there, no book. I'm not even going to go to this, man. I'm pissed off a little bit. Okay, let me do this. Let me do this. Bear me for a minute. The book of Enoch. Enoch. <laughs> Do y'all got the book of Eli? Buy the book, don't wait for the movie. Okay, the book of Enoch. Let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. Google. By Google. The Book of Enoch. Why is the book of Enoch not in the Holy Bible? Was that one Enoch was the first accepted in the Christian church, but later excluded from the biblical canon? Its, its survival is due to the uh, fascination of uh, marginal and heretical Christian groups. That's where you get the word heretic going off on doctrine, much as uh, Manichaeans, uh, with its uh, syncratic uh, blending of Ira Iranian, Greek, Chaldean, and Egyptian elements, so we know that, that that's bullshit. They don't. They the, the the book of Enoch that he possesses is not the real book of Enoch. What does what does the Lord say about the book of Enoch? As a cracker. And who, and who revealeth all the treasures of that which is hidden because of the Lord of spirits have chosen. The hell? You went down, you went down into that rabbit hole, man. Couldn't get out. Who actually wrote the book of Enoch? The third book of Enoch, the Hebrew Enoch, or three Enoch, is a rabbinic text originally written in Hebrew, usually dated to the 5th century CE. So the book of Enoch mentions, uh, um, he just read it, mentions uh, Methuselah. <laughs> so there was nobody recording what happened with Methuselah. All you know is a little bit about Methuselah. You know his name, and that's it. Uh, some experts believe it was written by R uh, Rabbi Ishmael, 
second century CE. And a CE means a current era or a, 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 um, a common era or a AD, first century AD. I know Domini family with both one Enoch and two and two Enoch. What are the seven books left out of the Bible? Let me see what that says. These consist of seven books, and they mention the uh, the Apocrypha, which is a part of the original King James. The original King James Bible had the Apocrypha in it. How many heavens are there in the book of Enoch? Ten heavens. The second book of Enoch's Enoch, uh, Slavic Enoch, secret Enoch. It describes the ascent of the patriarch Enoch, uh, ancestor of, of uh, Noah, through the ten heavens of an earth centered. What? What? K K. Of the what? Of the what? It describes this uh, ascent of the patriarch Enoch, ancestor of Noah, through 10 heavens of an earth-centered cosmos, which is a planet. He went through the planet, he passed the planets. Here's a book of Enoch in the King James Bible. A reprint, a reprint of the classic King James version of the Holy Bible that also includes the full Apocrypha, like I said, and for reference from the book of Jude, the book of Enoch is included, meaning they mention, they mention Enoch. Jude mentions Enoch. There ain't no book of Enoch in the, in the scriptures. So this guy went off and he said, he said, see, you other guys, you went off on that. You other guys out there, you ain't as deep as me. And I read, and the, the, the one West never taught this, man. That's why in the video that I made, I mentioned the, the book of Enoch says there are 10 heavens. And I, and I just read that. So we're going to continue on because we're going to get into why we have what I what we call an interclary month or interclary year. Isa calls it the leap year, right? And we're going to read about this here in the book of Enoch. Also. So bottom line, man, and then you had the leadership. You got Barack, Banyamyan, what was the eldest. They know they know that this is, this is going off because he's one, a part of the leadership. So they ain't checking one another. Hey, if Gabar did something like that, he'll get checked. He'll get checked quick. And he would have to make a take the video down and make an apology. And then we're going to watch him. Mark them, the scriptures say. These guys are on their own doing whatever the hell they want to do and trying to come off. That's why they do it. They're trying to come off deep. Just like Bishop Nathaniel the, the, the breakdown on uh, Second Ezra, the eleventh chapter, and he said, "Well, the, the three heads, the middle head is America, or the middle head is Rome. The, the one on the right side is America, the one on the left side is is England, which is clearly off." Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.